Disney ducks are the best. Welcome everybody, Tony here, Lisa here. Hi. We are at Epcot, we are in the land, and it's another episode of Love It, Hate It, Up or Update It, Living with the Land. Let's go. Is this new? Or just have I never really uh, no, looked at this wall? I, I don't know. Somebody let me know. This does not look familiar to me. Front row! We got the front row! We didn't even have to ask. I mean, I was going to ask, but we didn't have to ask. Tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice, are well known around the world. These are got some workers over here that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant, even the flower petals, are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. One day, many of these lesser known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually making it the most popular fruit in the world.
while there are more than 50,000 edible plant species in the world, most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. The common grains growing here, wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. These plants are definitely on their way up. Innovative growing techniques like these increase yields while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. Another innovation at work here is our integrated pest management program. By populating our greenhouses with beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. We're growing these crops using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads yeah. of lettuce a year in this yeah, one small area. Card. This is a behind the seeds tour. Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature, like these fruit and vegetable trees. By growing these ground plants vertically, we can increase yields and better control diseases. These crops taste as good as they look. In fact, we serve more than 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses and restaurants here at the land every year. The future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponics system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants, and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less. In our lab, Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. The goal of these efforts is to reduce production and... We crashed into this boat. It's kind of very rare that I've ever done that on this ride. Love it, hate it, or update it? So, I got two answers of the three. Uh-huh. I really like that ride, so love it. But I do think there are parts they could update. Like what? Like in the beginning, like the animatronics could definitely be updated. Not necessarily the... Uh, like scenery, like the story goes well with everything. But it's just you can tell the effects are outdated. Yeah. But other than that, it's great. I love this ride. It is actually one of my favorite rides in all of Walt Disney World for some reason. <laughs> um, I think because I love cooking, I love the gr uh, greenhouse, greenhouse house effect. Awesome. I want that at my own house. Will never happen. I don't have the money. Um, I always recommend this ride. It's it's good air conditioning. It's right here by season, so you can grab something to eat directly after. Which the food there is really good. Um, I do agree with Lisa that some things need to be updated. I would say in my thing, um, like Lisa said, the animatronics. You know in the beginning well you know more of the scenery you know when they show uh, 
uh, the farmers yeah. and everything like that. Yeah, that could be updated a bit. But I think for me, the most updated I would do is the videos. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. When they're like talking about like different countries, what they're trying to do to live with the land. They're very old videos. Yeah, very old and with technology since those videos, I'm sure we came even a longer way. And I would like to see the process of that from other countries. Other than that, this ride is one of my favorites and I love it. Leave a comment. What's your opinion on this ride, Living with the Land? We will see you next time. Vlog. Finito.